It's been 23 years since TSA was stood up. Today, screening two and a half million people every day at 440 airports nationwide. Every carry-on, every suitcase, every passenger screened and cleared. But now the TSA is testing what could be a faster checkpoint of the future. It was great, quick, no hassle. A self checkpoint, much like self grocery checkouts, almost the entire screening process is self guided, more automated, allowing TSA officers to keep eyes on security. What did you think? I, th I liked it. I think it's a lot easier. But it's not gone without hiccups. Gloria from New York was rushing to catch a flight. It took me four or five tries to yeah. get through. What was the hang up? Supposedly my watch, my hair clip, and my jacket. Starting today, a six-month trial run in Las Vegas, reserved for pre-check flyers only who know the routine. Some of this will be familiar to regular travelers. Come up to the checkpoint, take your carry-on, put it in the bin. If you've got any questions, simply ask the TSA officer on demand. Hi there, how may I help you today? TSA officers will dial in remotely. Place everything in the bin. Yes, and when you're all done, go ahead and slide your items forward. Slide your bin onto the rollers, then walk right into the full body scanner. And this is what's new. You come in and you put your arms down to the side, and it's going to look for anything that shouldn't be there. And it's telling me i got to come back out. I have a microphone, of course, that it's detected. I've got the transmitter on my belt, and something a lot of people forget, my cell phone. Bags that require rescreening cycle back automatically. After testing the checkpoint, the TSA will decide whether any of it can be rolled out nationally. Are you expecting too much of passengers to expect that they can do this on their own? We don't know. We've never tried this before. This is something that uh, is a first year. TSA Chief David Pekoski. Don't expect this to be widely rolled out at every airport and every checkpoint. No, I don't think so. Part of what we're trying to do here is to figure out, hey, what works? What facilitates movement of people? Uh, while at the same time making sure that we can provide the security we provide. Our future is getting fast. <laughs> and we have to be fast. Whether the self-checkout is faster. Somebody's got to be the guinea pig, right? <laughs> <laughs> might require working out the kinks. Would you recommend this? No, probably not. <laughs> no, well, well, the U.S. travel experience does not rank that well against other countries. So, Tom, is this part of the reason why they're trying to put this into place? So the U.S. Travel Association is saying, listen, we as a country have ranked, now ranked 17th in the world on how well we do in terms of our tourism uh, competitiveness. And they rank a lot of, they, they bring a lot of reasons for that. Aging airports, aging infrastructure, security systems that are not up to date compared to other countries, and very long customs lines. So the Travel Association is all for this new TSA test. By the way, TSA just came out with the with the spring break forecast, guys. Be ready. We're going to see record crowds again up 6% over last year. Wow. Oh, okay. Even with all the stuff they're doing in Miami to kind of crack down on yeah. it. Still travel. Yeah, they are. Thank, right. you, Thank you, Tom. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.